So one of the ways to manage vulvodynia and other pain disorders is from a mind-body experience, or from a mind-body approach, might be developing a sense of self-efficacy. So self-efficacy is basically the belief that you can do something and do it well, and that you can rely on yourself to do it. So there, while there is a cause for the pain, there might be a cause for the pain such as infection or hormone imbalance or um, any sort of other inflammation, and that might be out of our control, there is a component that is within our control. So the way that we respond to the situation, the way we respond to chronic stress or the pain is something that is a little bit more in our control, as is our ability to regulate our nervous system. And so we want to increase the ability to manage that pain and exert a feeling of empowerment. And so the reason we want to do that is because if somebody is highly activated, if they're highly stressed, then they might exacerbate the pain experience. So imagine a woman who has no anxiety about the pain or any worry about it. She might report her pain as a 5 out of 10, but if you start to insert a highly activated nervous system, she might then express that she's experiencing a pain level of 8 out of 10. So it's just a quick example of how, it, how a dysregulated nervous system can actually activate the pain experience a little bit more. So if we're building the belief that we have control over the pain and our response to pain, then we also start to experience the result of our efforts. And the impact that this has is we start to feel like we're being less controlled by our pain and we're not hijacked by the pain any, any longer. So how can we take control back? One of the ways is to start to build resiliency. And while, and then also, regulate the nervous system. And while those two things might seem simple enough, they're not easy to do. And so it takes a lot of practice, but it's okay, you can do it. So research has shown that negative emotions increase our experience of pain. What we have found is that when there are feelings that are negative, such as anxiety or uh, sadness or anger, those areas of the brain that are activated when those emotions are activated are also activating the same areas that our pain is being activated in. So an increase in anxiety and sadness might also activate the areas of our brain that are related to pain, and so it exacerbates the situation.